Okay guys, welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video and as always I appreciate anyone taking the time to come in and check out one of my videos. So on this one, what are we talking about? This is a video I would have done loads of times but we get new subscribers coming to the channel and asking me questions about how do you recover gold from certain products and stuff like that. So this is one that pops up a lot and I said I decided I'd do another video on it. If you've already watched this video, well then, uh, well one like it, I won't be watching this exact same video. but. Um, it's on RAM fingers and uh, graphics cards and sound cards and um, little Wi-Fi cards, stuff like that sort of stuff. So we all know that these contain gold and the most easiest gold to see on them, of course, is the gold that's here on the sticks themselves. But there is gold in the chips, but this video is not about the chips. This is about just these fingers. So. As always, we'll be uh, working with acids and uh, stuff like that at some stage. So remember your safety, having your proper gloves when dealing with it, having your uh, mask, um, all that sort of stuff, fume hoods, whatever way you have of dealing with it. Safety first, guys. No amount of gold is going to be worth uh, risking it. So I want people were asking me, how do I, is it real gold? Um, how do you get it? How do you process it? So yes, it is real gold because again, Here's a sample of some gold I got before from doing ram fingers. So there's the, the gold uh, from before. So what I'm gonna do on this video, I'm gonna show you the process again one more time for people. Um, so we're gonna start off, the first thing I'm gonna have to do is trim the fingers. So that's, I just use anything you can get to do it whatever way is easiest for you. And it's just trim the fingers. So I try and trim it as close as I can to the Oh, uh, left a little bit of gold on the board because I don't want to try and I want to try and get as much of that gold off the board but I don't want other material coming with it so I try and get it as close as I can sometimes I do too close and sometimes I leave too much on but it doesn't make a difference as long as you get as close as you can so something like that is what I like to get done on it and it'll be the same again on these little Wi-Fi connecting cards and stuff like that that are in your laptops and in your um in your computers it's just trim them off keep these other bits because there is still going to be gold bearing material on them so again no matter which size ram stick it is whether it's the the long ones the little ones from the um the laptops it doesn't matter which ram sticks it is we're going to be just trimming them that's all we're going to do and so i'm going to just trim these just to show you there but i'm not going to show you the trimming every ram stick i have now i don't have a huge amount to do um but I have some graphics cards and stuff like that. So some of these have come from graphics cards that were in sound cards and stuff like that. So some of them have bigger fingers on them. So stuff like that I'm going to be doing. Um, and you can see here, I've got this pile here to do. And the, there might be some more elsewhere that I'll be doing. So when you come back, we'll have all these trimmed. And we'll have a look at what we ended up with. So... That's all we need to do. So just trim them fingers off, guys. That's all you're doing. Um, and we'll talk then when we get back about what the next step at doing that. So I'm just going to continue, do what I have to do here. So for you, it's going to be instant. So um, let's see what we ended up with. Right, so um, we're about to do the copper chloride part of it. Well, technically not copper chloride this time yet. Because I always get asked um, about, um, and someone else made a comment on my video, one of my videos saying you don't have to use copper chloride. Hydrochloric acid will work away, just takes a little bit longer. <laughs> Put a bubbler in, well I always use a bubbler. So we're going to try this just with hydrochloric acid. Um, now, if I need to add some copper chloride, I will add some copper chloride to it. To speed it up if I think it's taking too long um, to work. So, uh, first off, again, I will be using a bubbler. So. Here's our bubbler. So we put that down in the bottom, as always, and we pour the material over it. So we'll be doing some ram fingers and other bits and pieces. So it's not just ram fingers that's in there. We also have gold bearing material from mobile phones. So they're going to go in there. And so as you can see, I've cleaned off all the chips and stuff like that as much as best I could. And we're just going to throw these in and we're going to let the um, acid work on them and 
for this one um, I'm going to use only 10% or 12% hydrochloric acid um, because it was cheaper to buy and it'll still do the same thing um, because it's only 12% so technically I don't need to put all of this board in I'll just break the bits off that have the bit of gold on them so, because we don't need to be putting the whole board in sticky stuff over the over the fingers so you want or over the gold plating so you want to make sure that's all removed because if there if that's on it the gold will stay away from the acid the acid can't technically get to it so it means then that um, you'll end up getting wondering why there's gold still on something so it's usually if there's a coating over it or there's something stopping the acid getting to it so remove that a nice little bit of gold plated stuff there or gold flashed and then we're just going to add our 10% hydrochloric acid to it and just put enough in to more or less cover the boards I don't need a huge amount just enough to um, cover them boards and let it work away so I'm going to put a cover on this let it all work away as long as the boards are under the acid it should work I will be adding more bits of gold bearing material to it because I still have more boards um, mobile phone boards I have to clean off so they will be so boards like that that still have material on so I will be adding them into the into the mix as I go along and what I'll do is I'll take out any boards that are the gold has come off and I'll add more boards until it gets fully saturated. So I'm gonna let that work away and um, we can check in in a few days. So just want to make sure everything is under the under there. That's perfect. And just stick that cover over it because if it rains this it'll keep most of the rain from getting in and diluting it down even further. There we go, so that's it guys, we'll just let that work away, that was only 10% uh, hydrochloric acid uh, that was in there, I think it was 10 or was it 12, let me have a look, uh, 10 to 14%, so that's why I picked 12 as my number, so um, we'll see how that works, I've done it before, it has worked, so we'll let that carry on, you come back, in a, well for you it's going to be instant, but for me it's going to be probably a few days, and um, we'll see how, how, the, how the solution has worked. See you later. Right guys, so it's been uh, four days, I think, since I started this solution. Um, I didn't add any copper chloride. I just let it work away with the hydrochloric acid because um, it was pointed out before to me that it can work just as good without actually adding any copper chloride and it eventually turns itself into copper chloride, which is very true. Um, so what did I say, three and a half, four days, something like that, I'm trying to think. Um, no, actually, uh, this is the fifth day, fifth, five days. Um, since I don't know, it was just left outside, so that's just some rain water that landed on the top. And you can see the actual colour of it is um, very dark now, it's gone very dark. You can see all the flakes that are in the solution so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain out the solution filter off any of the gold that I can get out I'm going to put back in anything that still has gold attached to it so some of the phone boards still have some gold on them um, and I'm going to add more boards to it but um, you won't have to sit through another batch. We'll come back once I've it filtered. Show you what was in this lot. Then I'll do another batch. And then we'll get to showing what the total amount of gold from it. So I'm just going to filter the solution out. And um, we're going to see what gold flakes we've got so far. 
So this is the gold now after filtering from that copper chloride. Um, so you can see in here we have um, our gold material. So again, it looks, you know, it looks like there's a lot of gold there and stuff. But by the time you've refined this down, now we've even a little bit of copper got in there. I don't know how that got in there. Ooh, get him out. So we don't want him mixed in there with the gold. But um, he must have fallen when I was doing something else. Just make sure there's no gold left on him. No. No. Okay. So, um, yeah. Did a good job I spotted him. Uh, well, it wouldn't have made a big difference when I go to the next stage anyhow. But we don't want to We, want, we don't want to be wasting acid melting that bit of copper. We want to be using the acid on this gold that's in here. So, you can see it in there. It looks good, looks nice, but um, it's not a huge amount of gold um, that's there. But we'll keep doing more copper chloride stuff, more boards go in. We'll keep using up our oil copper chloride until eventually we have um, enough gold to move on to the next stage of it, which will be, I was planning on just moving this straight on to the next stage, but kind of the weather's against me and stuff like that. So I'm not going to. I'll be mixing this gold in with other gold that I have. So even this is some gold that I have from um, CPU pins that's there drying out. So that's from another, uh, there's no video on that coming, but it's it's from pins I was doing in poor man's nitric acid. So again, ooh, if you don't know what poor man's nitric acid is, um, go check out the videos I've done on the poor man's nitric acid, um, if that's something that will interest you um, on how it, and again, there's more gold flake in there. So all this will be eventually mixed together and processed all together um, for the gold recovery. So it doesn't matter what source the gold comes from, whether it's copper chloride, uh, nitric acid, poor man's nitric, whatever way I get the gold off the off the boards, off the pins, in the end, it'll all go into the same mix at the end and it'll all go into my acaregia and we'll um, recover the gold from that. So I do get always asked a couple of this, I, I, I don't want to drag this on too long, but a couple of people have been putting comments on videos about copper chloride and having issues with copper chloride um, so you shouldn't really have an issue with copper chloride it's one of the easiest materials to or one of the easiest solutions to use for gold recovery your issues a lot of the time will be so this is not having to go with anyone or anything like that uh, because I got a few messages about gold on boards and stuff like that so um, if I want to get the gold off there using copper chloride I make sure there's nothing else on this board left if i chuck this into the copper chloride as it is now and expect it to get this gold off it won't because the copper chloride will have to eat away all this other metals first so it'll um, be in your iron it'll be in your brass it'll be in your copper uh, before it lets all that before it gets to what's underneath the gold here so the acid will be used up very quickly and won't get time so if you want to use copper chloride guys it's for clean boards only so everything has to be off the boards bar the gold plating that you're trying to recover so that's very important that's the biggest issue i see people are having so again cop this can be chucked straight into copper chloride because there's nothing else on there only my gold material so that can go in as it is into copper chloride this phone will have to be cleaned up before it goes into copper chloride so you want to make sure all these chips are taken off all these um pins are taken off here all this material is off and it's only the board itself that's going into the copper chloride that is one of the biggest issues that people are running into they're saying oh i put i put some boards into copper chloride and it doesn't seem to be taking the gold off the gold is still on the boards and then i might get them to send me pictures and i can see all this bits of metal chips everything still on the boards that's not what copper chloride is for guys copper chloride is for just attacking clean boards that have the gold on them so if you're tr throwing them boards in as they are then you will have issues i'm afraid to tell you um, so again even this board here so on this side it's nice and clean so some people go oh yeah i chuck that in it's nice clean on this side it isn't we have chips on there we have bits of metal on there we have um solder on here we have um MLCCs, all this stuff. 
So the, the acid will eat away all that solder and eat away all the metal that's on here before it begins to work on the actual gold, the, the copper that's underneath this gold here to release the gold. So all this stuff will have to come off this board before it goes into copper chloride. So again, guys, I was just showing what I'm working at the moment. So I've been working on that copper chloride, collecting that gold up. Um, so uh, hopefully at some stage we'll get this into Acarija. Um, again, if there's a video you want a refresher on that people are saying, can you know, can we do an updated video on something? Let me know and I will try and do it uh, for you. So if you want to see an updated on poor man's nitric, copper chloride again, uh, acroegia, um, the, um, the HCL and bleach method, anything like that. If you're not sure on it, you want an updated version of the video, please let me know in the comments and we'll get an updated version of the video done for you at some stage. So uh, as always, appreciate everyone that's been watching the videos, uh, subscribing to the channel, all the new subscribers, you're very welcome to the channel. Thanks for coming in. Uh, again, if you're new, I have mostly, I have a video on everything so far on gold recovery. As I say, I'm nearly up on 700 videos, I'd say, on here on the channel. So there's definitely a video there of, uh, in the gold recovery side of it, all the different methods. Um, and there's definitely a video there on taking stuff where to, what to look for on gold, what items have gold on boards and circuit boards and stuff like that. Again, if you want another updated one on circuit boards, we can do that. Uh, we can run through it. Um, where's the gold on the circuit board? Stuff like that. We can do all that. Let me know in the comments. So till the next video, guys, stay safe. Thanks for the um, likes. Thanks you for the, um, the subscriptions. And thank you for watching. So appreciate you all, guys. See you on the next one.